Hi air signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to see what's written in your destiny, what's written in the stars for you. It is going to be a general reading, please be mindful of that. There's actually also going to be a part two to this reading and that's going to be made via the extension link below. For those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. We're going to, uh, I will be listing, sorry, my email address below the video where the show more section is. And just a little bit more about that extension uh, reading that's going to go into, like into a lot more depth and detail with the messages. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and let's see what is written in your destiny. Okay, so it looks like some of you have suffered some sort of betrayal, rejection, deceit, um, heartbreak, you know, something he has broken down for you, which feels like it's, you know, it's plummeted you down to emotional rock bottom with the Ten of Swords energy, okay? Um, you know, this is a painful or volatile ending of some sort. You know, you could be experiencing this now. This is something that you might be going through. Or unfortunately, this is something that is predicted in the cards for you, okay? Um, the breakdown of a romantic connection, um, a loss of a friendship, something which I feel like, you know, is going to really, with the Ten of Swords energy, something that I feel like will really, it just feels like you're hitting emotional rock bottom. And I know that doesn't, you know, it's, it's, Oftentimes, the Ten of Swords energy is a victim of dis you being, you know, a victim of deceit, betrayal, its wounds, its loss, its painful endings. But the fact that you've got the Strength card, you know, to one side of it, and then you've got the Eight of Wands to the other side, is actually a good indicator of you bouncing back from this. You know, the sun rising on the horizon, bringing a new, a new and resensed. And, sorry, a renewed sense of hope and uh, opportunity and possibility here. And to me, the sun is what the sun is what brings solace here. That even in darkness, even in a time of darkness, there's a time, you know, there's a sense of peace and calm that is going to be found. And especially with the strength card, it tells us that you have that fortitude, you have that resilience to overcome this difficult and tumultuous situation that you're coming through that you're going through so look it, it could be an ending that has come out of the blue um or you know and has completely rocked your world it's something that you know has come out of the blue something that you know, never expected it but it has happened or it will happen it will leave you feeling as if your world has collapsed as if your world you know is crumbling around you but you might be stabbed in the back you know from by a really close connecting energy um, you might be cheated on here. It just feels someone here is like betraying your trust or they're, you know, inflicting pain onto you. But I think that to me, it just feels like you have that. It's, it's making you stronger. Okay. In a way, I feel like with the Ten of Swords, you're kind of letting go and you're accepting the circ, like you're accepting this current set of circumstances you're not resisting it but you're kind of allowing for change to happen because something ends here because something new is going to begin for you okay you recognize that the reason why something has ended for you even though it's you know has caused you pain and has hurt you but you recognize that there is a change behind this to facilitate a renewal of some sort a, a new chapter um, a new cycle, a new relationship, a new friendship, a new career opportunity, a new opportunity in general. 
And instead of fighting it, you're allowing it to happen, okay? Because you know that this is facilitating renewal. And I think that in order for you to move forward, don't suppress whatever it is that you're feeling. I feel like there is going to be pain that will come, like, the pain will come from this source. So it's not like this person has betrayed you, you know, you will hurt and then that's that. The pain will continue to come from this source. But I think you have to experience the pain. You have to feel it to heal it. And I see you have that strength. You've got the strength internally, emotionally, externally to pick yourself off the ground. You know, reflect what has happened to you here. Learn from the experience. Because when you do this, that's when the pain and the hurt will fade. And then that's when you get to, you know, it will all make sense why you had to endure or why something had to happen that way. And that's because so that you can evolve into your fullest potential. You can step into your, the most authentic you know, version of yourself. And you can use that positive power that you have within you. Harness that. And you can learn from your pain and draw wisdom from your defeat. So some very, very powerful stuff. There's an ending of some sort that I feel like you're ready to, you know, to face up to. Um, I don't see you resisting it. If you do resist it, it's going to continue to drag on. So as painful as it might be, I feel like you're trusting that everything is happening for a reason. And even though it might not be easy to understand what that reason is, you're kind of, you know, deep down inside, you trust that it's going to lead to your personal growth and regeneration and renewal in the long term. I also feel like this, the reason something comes apart for you here is that everything can come back together. Um, and in a much more beautiful and harmonious way. You know, you've got the Two of Cups energy, which is unified love, partnership. It's, um, there's such a flow and an energy between two people. So I feel like for some of you, unfortunately, you're going to be crossing paths with the wrong one. But the wrong one is going to put you onto a path with, for the, with the right one here, okay? Um, some of you, I feel like you're going to be in the future, you're going to be entering into a new partnership. It does feel like it's a romantic, um, you know, whether with a new lover, could be a friend, could also be a business partner. I think what lies ahead of you is a union so beautiful and it's based on such a mutual attraction and respect for one another. And there's such a physical and a soul connection, okay, that it'll be worth you having endured the pain because that's essentially helping you grow and helping you become, you know, the most healthiest and happiest version of yourself. So when that you when you do meet this person, you will instantly recognize, you know, their energy, their soul, such a physical and soul connection between the two of you that'll leave you feeling very weak. Um, you know, you you'll bring out the best in each other. You'll lift each other up to your highest of potentials. Um, the two of you is going, are going to exchange an emotional language that's so heartfelt, and you're both going to do whatever it takes to support each other okay i'm also seeing that there is a marriage a proposal and an engagement predicted in the cards for you with this individual um so many things you know with the eight of wands i feel like there's just so many things that are happening for you so many big exciting changes and i think the reason why is because you know you're not resisting you're not resisting any of these changes you're in um you know you're in alignment here you're your energy feels very open and it's such a high level of energy that's prepare that's propelling you forward things are happening at a very fast and exciting pace and there's just so much progress that you're making um, and everything is moving so fast and i think you're you have an energy where you're allowing um things to you know you're going with the flow you're not resisting it and you're allowing the universe to flow through you You're manifesting and you're aligning here. You're focusing all of your energy on a particular goal. Things are happening for you here. They really are. There's a lot of movement. So definitely prepare yourself for like an increase in, in pace and in energy. You know, this is quick action. This is exciting times, exciting news that you're receiving. You're gaining momentum here. You're, um, 
you know, this is alignment as well. There's a lot of travel as well being predicted in the cards for you. For those of you that have been planning, okay, if you've been planning to do some traveling, whether for, you know, um, studies or just for leisure here, I feel like there's a lot of movement the cards are predicting for you, a lot of travel and exciting projects that are in store for you. There's a lot of follow, uh, a lot of positive feelings and a lot of enthusiasm that I'm seeing in your energy. Also, some sort of unfinished business that you might have with someone that has held you back in the past is going to be completed. I see that being completed. I also see you accelerating to the next level in your life, whether it's in love, romance, business, professional here. Um, also, for some of you, a whirlwind romance is headed your way. You might fall pretty quickly for this person and pretty deeply as well but do be careful and use a little bit of caution because it's going to take more than just an instant attraction or a connection to sustain a relationship so get to know this person on a more deeper level otherwise your connection might end sooner than it began um, so Something doesn't work out the way that you hope, but it does work out even better for you. Okay, so whatever it is that you're going through, the tough times aren't going to last here. And you're going to be at a so much more steadier pace in no time at all. So in part two of the reading, we're going to explore. You're also building some sort of empire. Perhaps you and this romantic energy here. Um, but we're going to explore these swift, exciting changes that are coming your way. You know, and this new transition or transformation that you're going through uh, maybe a little bit more about this whirlwind romance and you know what else the cards predict for you um okay and that's going to be explored in part two of the reading so follow me via the extension link below for those of you interested in a personalized tarot reading please feel free to inquire i just want to thank you all for your time your energy your attention please show your support by liking sharing or subscribing to the channel bye for now